Before learning how to balance the chemical equation, we should identify the law of conservation of matter which states that In any given system that is close to the transfer of matter, the amount of matter in the system stays constant. So, matter is neither created nor destroyed. By applying this law in chemistry, we can say In any chemical reaction, the number of atoms entering the chemical reaction should be equal the number of atoms of products. Now, let's differentiate between some chemical formulae. Number 1 CO Number 2 CO2 Number 3 2CO CO is called carbon monoxide If nothing is written before the chemical formula, that means it is only one molecule of CO. This molecule is composed of two atoms. One carbon atom and one oxygen atom. CO2 is carbon dioxide. Also, it is only one molecule of carbon dioxide. This molecule is composed of three atoms. One carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. CO is called carbon monoxide. But here, there are two molecules of carbon monoxide. The number written before the chemical formula means the total number of molecules. So number two here is distributed between carbon and oxygen. By counting the atoms in this molecule, we will find that the molecule is composed of two carbon atoms and two oxygen atoms. So, pay attention to the numbers written before and after the chemical symbols. Here, number 3 represents the number of carbon dioxide molecules. But number 2 represents the number of oxygen atoms in one molecule.
Now, let's learn how to balance the chemical equation. Any equation is divided into two sides, the left side and the right side. The left side represents the reactants, while the right side represents the products. The two sides should be equal in number of atoms and the molecular masses. The reaction between carbon and oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Each side includes two elements, carbon and oxygen. The number of carbon atoms in each side is 1. And the number of oxygen atoms in each side is 2. So, this equation is already balanced. The reaction between hydrogen and chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. The elements in left and right sides are hydrogen and chlorine. There are two hydrogen atoms in the left side and one hydrogen atom in the right side. About chlorine. There are also two chlorine atoms in the left side and one chlorine atom in the right side. Actually, the equation is not balanced. By adding number 2 before hydrogen chloride, and then count the atoms again. Number 2 here before HCl made the number of hydrogen atoms in the right side equal to and also the number of chlorine atoms equal to. Finally, the equation is balanced. The total number of atoms in the left side is 4 which is equivalent to the total number of atoms in the right side. The reaction between magnesium and oxygen to form magnesium oxide. In this example, the elements in both sides are Mg and O. We have one Mg atom in the left side and one Mg atom in the right side. But we have two O atoms in the left side and one O atom in the right side. So the equation is not balanced. Magnesium atoms are equal in the two sides but oxygen atoms are not. We will try to adjust the number of oxygen atoms in the right side by adding two before MgO. After adding 2, the number of oxygen atoms becomes equal in both sides. But magnesium atoms in the right side are not equal to that in the left side. Now let's return back to the left side. We have to add 2 before magnesium to make the number of magnesium atoms in both sides equal. Good. The equation now became balanced. But take care. There is a common mistake you may face it. 
to make the previous equation balanced. Somebody adds number 2 after mg or not before. And this is a big mistake. decomposition of sodium nitrate by heat to give sodium nitrite and oxygen gas. There are three elements in each side. Na, N, and O. As you see, the number of sodium atoms in both sides are equal. One atom in each side. Also the number of nitrogen atoms in both sides are equal. One atom in each side. But notice that the number of oxygen atoms in the two sides are not equal. Three in the left. And four in the right. And that makes the equation not balanced. Together. Let's balance it. I hear you saying. Add number 2 before the left side. Excellent! By counting the atoms again in the left side, we will see that sodium atoms became 2, nitrogen atoms became 2, oxygen atoms became 6. But now, even the oxygen atoms in both sides became not equal. So, we add 2 before sodium nitrite in the right side. And count again. Now, the number of sodium atoms in the right side is 2 like those in the left side. The number of nitrogen atoms in the right side is 2 also like those in the left side. The oxygen atoms are 6 like those in the left side. Finally, the equation became balanced. Na plus H2O giving NaOH plus H2. I think you can understand this example by yourself without my explanation.